Hi Sagittarius, welcome. So let's check what's up with you and your person. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, donations and thank you for your love. If you'd like a private reading of the same exact spread, then this is something that I offer or any spread on my channel. Do check out my email address on the box below. And uh, if this story does not resonate with your personal story, then do check out the other signs on your natal chart, as you might be having some stories over there. So let's see, what energy is Sagittarius aligning with right now? What's Sagittarius' energy? Four of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Here's your Jupiter energy. What's Sagittarius' energy? Father of Pentacles. Daughter of Wands, Daughter of Cups, and the Two of Cups. That's great to see in a love reading. What Sagittarius energy? Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles. A lot of earthy energy for you, Sagittarius. A lot of earthy stability, balance, and harmony. And some new passion and some new emotions emerging out of that stable grounds. Some of you might have two persons in their life right now, two, two people who they both love, okay? Some of you don't have to have that. You might have your old relationships present or some unsolved issues with your older relationships actually present right now. Let's see what this person's energy is. What's Sagittarius' person's energy, please? For this reading. Temperance, your energy. Are you dealing with another Sagittarius? Anyway, they are dealing with Temperance, Eight of Swords. <laughs> A popular card. Lately. Father of Wands. Wow, Sag. Son of Swords, wow, air, air, very air. But I'm seeing very hot sex. <laughs> Judgment. They're going through their own rebirth and you're going through your own fortune wheel change, okay? Now the Wheel of Fortune, as being ruled by the Jupiter, I see it as a very fortunate card, actually. If you can align with its powers, if you resist to it, it can be unfortunate. Justice, Son of Cups, and the Hermit for your person, Sagittarius. Well, they are experiencing some hard times right now. Some a lot of swords, out of which they communicate with others as well. Which they are trying to balance, which gives the hot sex, which gives the passion to the hot sex. It's just what I see here. But they're also very much aware of their emotions or in, in touch with their emotions. They do need their time alone. And they have questions in their head. Very big questions about what's just and fair in this life anymore or what's not. And they are managing to balance all that with grace. But it's, make, it's tiring them out a little. Your unsolved issues with your older relationships, two or more people, it can just indicate or point out to your potential problems in committing, potential problems being close intimate with somebody for a good period of time, for longer time. I think that's the main deal that needs to be spoken about between the two of you, what's up with there? What are you afraid of? Ace of Pentacles just dropped down when I asked what are you afraid of? I'm gonna put it there. Because that's a new start, that's what you're afraid of. I was just thinking about Tower when I said that. Because this, um, you see, in the ones, so your passions and your emotions, they're both being in the page daughter energy, earth. Earth energy coming together with this earth of father of pentacles. What is it that makes you kind of afraid to 
rise and shine and erupt like a volcano and just scream and sing around you know you're Sagittarius you have all that in you but I see it being very ace of cups just jumped out as I'm talking I see it being right now very hesitant with that whoever is in this reading right a lot of my Sag doesn't have to re resonate with that then do check out your other signs mother of ones at the bottom yeah pretty much hesitant and yeah because um, taken aback by that wheel of fortune turning taken aback it was surprising for you okay so let's see how this person sees you how this how does this person perceive Sagittarius please how does this person perceive Sagittarius oh look at that they see you as your as their utmost happiness <coughs> wish fulfillment happiness in life ace of wands yeah they have a lot of passion for you two of wands <laughs> and the eight of wands like how many how like this is what? I think in the sexual realms you are like wow I got no idea <laughs> Wow! Seven of Swords just jumped out. Those unspoken things. Lovers at the bottom. Unspoken, first of all, with you and you. You not being clear about some topics and issues when it comes to relationships. Makes them feel like you're hiding something. Even when this is not hiding, but it's just. You're gonna face them in this good time, right? So how do you see them? Oh, nine of pentacles, four of wands. Just refer reaffirms this ace of cups being here when I asked what's, what are you afraid of? Afraid of putting the ace of cups to that nine of cups and making the 10 of cups with this person. You know, like, take your time to be sure of anything you want to be you know it's your choice it's your life but um yeah and you see four of ones this is celebration marriage card some say some say it's twin flame card soulmate connection so you you have some real deep emotions for them as well actually so how does Saj see this person please two of swords not great to see in a lot not really. Well, why not? I mean, in the thought tarot, it's called peace. So you find peace with them. It's almost like a union. You find united when it comes to with them. Like you feel at home and you feel understood. You don't have to try a lot to explain yourself in when it comes to mental realms. Okay. One more card as how Sag sees this person. Wow, strength. Father of Cups and the Six of Cups. I mean, it looks so positive between the two of you. I mean, but it's a difficult time, that's for sure, right? Like, this is a very charmer kind of person, whoever this is. The Son of Cups and the Strength card coming with their, this beast coming with the rose in their mouth. It's just such a charismatic, charming person. And you really love them. It might even be the first person you love so much. Might even be the first person you might, you love so much, which you are, yeah, you got, it's just incredible. You got the two of, in this reading, there is a two of cups for your energy. 10 of cups, how they see you. Six of cups, how you see them. Nine of cups, how you see them. This is just, I can cry. Ace of Cups is even there. Oh my god. It's an amazing, it's just beautiful card. I'm just happy for you guys. Whew. So what do angels suggest for Sagittarius to take steps towards this person? Eight of Cups. Yeah, get rid of these old broken glasses. Express them, give them out, the devil, in reverse. Five of Cups. 
Yeah, this old issues from your old, I mean, these commitment issues of you, Daughter of Pentacles. I'm just getting the message like, if this is your story, if it resonates, it's and it's your choice, but the message I'm getting is like, hang on to them and work out your... Just there is an old baggage for you from you when it comes to unsolved issues from your older relationships. It's not even about the older relationships, it's about how you understood the come out, what lessons did you learn. It's a little bit like that way it's way in to your relationship with this person. That's a shame. It's not a shame, it's just, you know, it's it's we're all growing, we're all in it, we're all trying. Okay? So um, what steps will this person take towards Sag? The sun, the star, daughter of swords. They have issues with maybe some anxiety, okay? They have issues in their mental realm, a little bit of baggage over there that they also spring out towards you. Like their energy is Son of Swords. Now what they're gonna come towards you is the Daughter of Swords. And their energy is the Eight of Swords. So for them to be clear is... Now we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom. That um, some meditation will help them, honestly. And psychotherapy is something. Like, it's a little bit full here for them. And that's, that's how they communicate out of it. But yeah, like it's... It just looks all soluble. soluble. Doable, solutionable, solution ready, soluble, solvable. Okay, one more card. What step will take? Will this person take towards such? The tower, the hangman, and the three of pentacles. So suddenly, some you have the three of wands here. Suddenly, some balancing, stable offers grounds and a new step in your relationship towards together ten of cups and ten of pentacles okay let's see so which animal spirit card suggestion comes for Sag please what do we have for Sagittarius today angels ancestors spirit animals walrus remain vigilant about the current situation pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. I just got the I am a walrus song from the Beatles in my head. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. equivocation says the falcon okay so yeah go for it go for it Saj I support it I loved your energy between the two of you it's just wow it's just so beautiful I just made my heart warm really it's just am I gonna cry Okay, one last goodbye card for Sagittarius. <laughs> Which message can we give to goodbye? Broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. Guardian angel, you are not alone. Ask for your guardian angel's help. And know that you are at peace. Okay, lovely Sagittarius. Thank you so much for letting me into our energies. I always love my Sagittarius readings. And until next time, be gentle and mindful with yourselves and all those around you. Bye. Alles gut. <laughs> Thank you.
Nein, Mann. 